It's Cracking YouTube. It's me, your host, Tune, aka your favorite YouTube content creator. Back again with another um, episode three, I guess, or, 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 or whatever you want to call it. Um, this is Talks with Tune, a new series that I started probably like a couple weeks ago. I mean, the, the time frame between this episode and episode two has been like a big gap. Well, not really. I think, I think it's been like a week or something like that. Really didn't feel like not feel like talking about nothing but really didn't have nothing really to talk about same thing for my reaction videos really haven't been doing my reaction videos and i was debating whether or not i wanted to make this a reaction video but because i am going to add video to this but i just said fuck it. but before we get started like subscribe share follow my twitter my instagram which is in the description below click the notification bell so every time i post new content you will be notified and um enjoy so let's get into the video so basically you see what the title is um no special thumbnail because all my talks with tunes are the same cover. But basically, this is about the NBA is back, people. It's official. It was voted on today. I actually have um, to make sure I, I I got all my facts straight. I got my laptop right here, which I will be providing video. Well, um, I will be providing um, uh, sources from um, Yahoo Sports. Yeah, Yahoo Sports .com. Um, and you want to see that. And I got the background of my television. I was watching, what is this? Um, first, th first things first. And they, they talking about it. And I have um, Bleacher Report. So, um, hold on real quick. Somebody just texted me. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Anyway. Um, oops. Okay. So, yeah. So, let's get to the video. First, we're going to start off with this proposal because this, today's the fourth and this um this says the it reads nba commissioner basically it says this um it, this was reported yesterday so they did the vote today which is june the 4th and um so just in case anything's wrong about this the first things first that's the um episode from a couple hours ago today so i wanted to make sure i get everything right so i'm gonna add the video right now hold on let's go three two one Okay, the video should be up right now if y'all, hopefully it's up. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is if, you, if you're watching this video. But anyway, all right, so report NBA Commissioner Adam Silver to outline, outline, excuse me, 22 team proposal for league return to play. So basically, they had a proposal out and he's going to outline, he's going to get all the commissioners, I mean, all the um, owners together and he was going to have a vote. So um, let's go down. I'm not going to read all this. We just want to skim through it. On a call with the NBA Boards of Government on Thursday, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver will outline a 22 team proposal for returning to play at Walt Disney Resort World Resort. Um, so basically, like, they're going to play at the, you know, the Disneyland or Disney World. Or, yeah, Disney World Resort. Because Disneyland is in California, right? Yeah, Disney World is in Florida. Anyway, um, hopefully I don't see that. I don't know why you won't get these little things pop up. Anyway, all right. The proposal reportedly includes 16 teams currently slotted for playoff seeds and six additional teams, um, teams, excuse me. According to Walsh, all 22 teams will play eight additional regular season games to determine seeding prior to a play-in series for the eighth seed. That tournament will feature an eighth and ninth place team only if they finish within four games of each other. The ninth place team would have to win two straight head-to-head -head games to upset the eighth straight team. Okay, so you get so. And what if so? The records are almost the same, whatever like that. Um, the eighth, um, the eighth place team only had to win one game against the ninth place team. The ninth place team would have to win two games against the eighth place team. Hopefully, I said that right. Which teams will be invited? Here we go. So the six teams joining the current eight seeds in each conference are the Port Portland Trailblazers, New Orleans Pelicans. They wanted Zion in these playoffs bad. Um, Sacramento Kings, San Antonio Spurs, Phoenix Suns. I just got. It. Okay, I just got another Bleach Report update. Um, where was that? Phoenix Suns and Washington Woods. Only the Wizards represent the Eastern Conference, the East, Charlotte Hornets, and Chicago Bulls. I am getting a lot of text messages. Anyway, are the only teams currently within eight games of a playoff spot that will not be invited. League reported plans to resume the regular season on July 31st and finish playoffs by October 12th. That is tough, bro, because October 12th is going to get into the, NBA, the NFL season. Like, I think like on October 11th they said they have like a uh, Tom Brady with the Bucks game versus the the Bears, and it's like um, a college game LSU versus some I forgot what it was like. But hey man, the NFL is, I mean NBA taking a big chance with this. But um, according 
Hornets, according to, I can't even pronounce that, Hornets owner Michael Jordan urged the commissioner not to consider options that's called for teams to return to meaningless games out of concern for players' health uh, amongst the coronavirus pandemic and safety from injury. I just want to make sure this. The Bulls were reportedly among those that supported a 30 team return to action. Wow. So, so the Bulls wanted a 30 team. They wanted everybody to come back. But why? Like, that makes no sense. If your team is not, that's like, I look, I'm a Cavaliers fan. We suck. I want us to go home. You feel me? No more games. Let's just do the draft lottery and all that crazy shit. Like, uh, playing questions that need to be asked. In the East, the Wizards 24 and 40 will have to close the gap on either the Orlando Magic 30 and 35 or Brooklyn Nets 30 and 34 to four games. And I don't know why all these reporters talking about that KD and Kyrie might play. Like, KD already said he's not playing. And then Kyrie has surgery? Kyrie should be, like, he's done, right? Like, but. The dude on first, I forgot his name, but the white dude, no racist, but he was like, LeBron versus Kyrie in the first round would be interesting. I'm like, ain't Kyrie out for the season? Whatever. Um, four games, which is entirely possible, even if all three will play their remaining eight regular season games against playoff caliber opponents. One Bradley Bill high street for Washington. Oh, we're not going to read all this. We're not going to read all that. On the other side of the bracket, the Suns trail the Memphis Grizzlies by six games for the AFC. Cutting two games off that in the final eight is far more likely than overcoming six would have been if they played the original schedule, 17 games left. Okay, the Blazers, the Pelicans, and the Kings are all three and a half games behind Memphis. And the Spurs are only a half game behind them. Pulling, all right, we're not going to read all this. We're not going to read risk or reward. That's pretty much it. Yeah, so, that, I mean, that's it for this. Let's stop this. Get this video off. Okay, so we got that video. Anyway, all right, and what I got on the screen right there, that's that was from yesterday. That was reported yesterday. What I got on the screen, it says, NBA returning to play proposal. 22 teams will receive, re, excuse me, resume season in Orlando on July 31st, including top eight in each conference, plus teams with six games of playoff spots, 13 from the West, nine from the East. Teams outside the top eight participating, Blazers, Pelicans, Kings, Spurs, Suns, and Wizards. Teams play eight regular season games, season games, and possible play in tournament before playoffs. Play in tournaments for the eighth seed if ninth seed is within four games. There we go. So I mean, it, be, I, it was a lot. It was a lot. And from the Bleach report on my phone, it says that the Blazers was the only team that voted against this format. Portland was the only team to vote against the NBA's proposal to return to play. I don't know why Portland. They still got a chance. Um, I don't know why they would, would try to vote against it. It says, I'm going to read this. Blazers are eager to resume season, but choose to vote no because franchise believe there were more formats on table, including those that address 2020 NBA draft lottery odds based on regular season games results in Orlando. So I guess, yeah. Um, I don't know. But it says right the, the the Blazers from the new system – they benefit from uh, which allows teams on the playoff standings to complete for a spot in the postseason. I guess it's all about that draft, that the draft they wanted, just in case they don't make it. However, the team remains a long shot to make the deep run with just a 75 and 1 odds to win a championship. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Okay. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's more news on here. You always go to Bleach Report and stuff like that, but that's. That's that's basically the gist of it. So the NBA is back, people. July thirty first. Um, yeah, and I, oh, um, so they said the the new NBA season would be December the first, if I'm not mistaken. That would, I mean, they but they said that's up to change. Um, I'm trying to get that exact info right here too, because they said that this morning. I I read it. It said it said a, it said about a draft. Oh, here we go. It says training camp would be June thirtieth. July 7th, travel to Orlando. The 2019-2020 season will start back July 31st. Free agency will start October 18th. The targets for the 2020-2001 season, it would be November 10th for training camp, December 1st, open night, but can remain fluid. That's what it says. So anything can change with that part. But what y'all think about this? I'm curious to know what y'all think. Are you happy the NBA back? I am. 100% happy to NBA back because I was bored. I was watching soccer. Stuff like that. Stuff I'm not interested in. But, hey, man. It is what it is. I mean, we wasn't going to get 
exactly what we wanted, but I'm happy. Listen, so I, I'm I'm interested to know how this format going because I remember a couple of days ago they showed like this format, it, but it wasn't the official one. It was like the Lakers was on this bracket, the Clippers and the Bucks was on this bracket with the Mavericks. This bracket like was like hard. So like basically like, it was two sides of the bracket, and like if you had to like put it and understand that most people know from over the years. This bracket would be considered the West, even though it was East teams over here. Cause, and I'm calling it that because that bracket was hard. And this bracket was the East. And LeBron just happened to fall in this bracket. But they didn't cheat to get him over there. The Lakers was the number one seed. So Lakers, it was the number one seed was at the top of each bracket. The Bucks was over here. The, uh, the Lakers was over here. And then it worked down. I think the hardest team in that bracket with the Lakers was, like, maybe the Nuggets? Like, it was crazy, the, the like, the way they had lined up. It was... The Lakers versus the, the Lakers versus the the Nets, and then it was the Rockets versus the Jazz. So the Lakers will play the one out of that. Then it was, I can't remember the rest. It was, but the Nuggets was always at the bottom. So like, the Lakers wouldn't have to play the Nuggets until like, like that version of the conference final. It's not the conference final, but that that brackets finals to go to the championship. On this side, it was the Clippers, the Bucks, the Mavericks. Um, the Thunder, the Heat, the Celtics, it was tough over there. I think the easiest team over there was Orlando, and the Bucks played them in the first round. It was like Orlando versus it was Orlando versus the Bucks. And I know down here it was um the Clippers versus the Mavericks in the first round. But then it was the Celtics versus the Sixers. So the the Clippers or the Mavericks would have to play the winner out of the Celtics and the Sixers. Probably was gonna be the Celtics. And it was probably gonna be the Clippers. So the Clippers would have to play the Celtics. And somehow around the way they was gonna have to play the the, um, the Bucks just to get to the championship. When the Lakers was just gonna have an easy pass, it was crazy. It was crazy. I think the I, I know another team that was over here on LeBron's side was the Raptors versus somebody I can't remember, but like it was nobody worth anything. It was crazy. But I'm very very happy. Um, I'm glad I got to do a two talks because there's a lot of negativity in the world right now. We get to talk about something positive. The NBA is back, people. It's gonna be fun. So we have what, like 52 days, 53 days, 51 days, something like that. 50 between 51. I don't know the exact date, but it's like in the 50, the the start of the 50s. Um, days left. So let's get it, man. NBA back. I am a Cavs fan. We are eliminated. So my second choice that I want to win because I'm a LeBron fan. I want the Lakers to win. I'm not a LeBron. I mean, I'm not a Lakers fan at all. I live in LA, but I'm not a Lakers fan. But out of every team that's in the playoffs, since my Cavs not there. I want the Lakers to win. I'm not going to lie to you. I want LeBron to get in the ring. Number four, right? Yeah, number four. Number four. And hopefully he won MVP. We, I, Giannis is going to win MVP. But that's a different video. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, share. Follow my Twitter, my Instagram, which is in the description below. Click the notification bell so every time I post new content, you will be notified. And as always, for me, your host, Toon, a.k.a. your favorite YouTube content creator, y'all know what to do. Have a nice day. The NBA is back, people.